What is up guys, Taiki here, and in this video I'll be going over my plan to accumulate 10,000 Matic tokens without paying a single penny of my own money. If you like the content, please like and subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section below. None of this is financial advice, so let's get started. Okay, so as some of you may know, the Matic token's been doing really well. I mean, oh my god, look at this chart, right? And it's well-deserved. I mean, it's a scaling solution for Ethereum, it's a sidechain, and I've been using it like almost exclusively for the past two and a half weeks. And... I just I just want to talk about Aave because this like literally Aave is free money right now because if you if you're not aware uh, Polygon to incentivize more people to use the Matic ecosystem they have these liquidity mining programs and they have a forty million dollar one with Aave and essentially what this means is that they're going to be paying you to use Aave so for example I have seventeen k of USDC that's earning three percent paid in USDC but I'm also earning four point seven percent paid in Matic tokens okay so and and you can see like my Matic that I'm accumulating up here that I always claim and reinvest uh, into uh, the lending network. And also the great thing about Aave is that you get paid to borrow. So Tether, I'm borrowing Tether for 6%, uh, but, <laughs> but Polygon is paying me like almost 17% to borrow. So in other words, like they're paying me like 10, 11% to borrow, uh, borrow, borrow money from Aave, which is incredible. Um, so I really encourage you to at least look into it like you don't have to like put this much money in it but you know i done my research and i feel comfortable enough and i want to talk about accumulating matic so i have roughly four thousand matic uh in ave but none of this like i didn't pay for any of this uh what i've been doing is you know some of these some of this matic rewards are from like these uh the matic rewards on ave but majority of it is through farms and uh the farm i'm in right now is called polyfy which has been popping off uh don't ape into this randomly because um there's no way to know if you're early in this or not a chance like depending on when you're watching this video like the tvl might be like already too high and like you might not make your money back because these farms like literally the tokens are ponzonomics right like if you're early in them like you can make money uh but if you're late in them you might not make your deposit fee back because if you if you, if you don't know how it works like the deposit fee will be used to buy back the token and the deposit fee is like four percent and if you think about it, like I'm earning like a bunch of poly, like I'll just leave it on my screen so you can see how much poly that I, that I accumulate and how much TVL grows. But like these, these tokens, like I'm earning for free. And what am I going to do with them? Well, I'm going to dump them into the market because I don't want polyfy. I want Matic. I want to accumulate more Matic. So uh, in the past like 16 hours, no, actually, yeah, in the past 16 hours, I've just been dump farming and dumping all my polyfy into Matic. And I paid six hundred dollars in deposit fees, which you know it took me a while for it to get back. But right now I'm at uh, eight hundred matic, and at these current prices, I've already made my deposit fee back. So you know I'm I'm laughing at the developers. Um, <laughs> uh, so always do your own research. But I still talk about Polyfy because and farms in general because uh, not all farms will work. For example, like I talked about Polycake in my last video, and I got into them and. I, I only got half my deposit fee back and I just got out of there. Like, you know, like sunk cost, like fuck it, like, I, I'm out. Uh, because with Polycake, the developers were being assholes. Uh, the P-Doge farm was not working. So like people paid a 4% deposit fee and but they weren't earning any P-Cake. Uh, and people were like, hey, can we at least get our deposit fee back? Like there's like a bug or like we're not earning P-Cake. But the, develop the developers were like, you know what, like fuck you guys. like. We'll lower the deposit fee back to one percent, but like we're not gonna give you your money back. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, how do you grow a community? How do you grow a project if you're like, fucking being assholes? Like, this is the money grab. Um, so maybe they fixed it. This was last night, but like, I don't want to be involved into a farm that where the developers are just assholes. So you know, I went back to Polyfy, and at the time when I got into this, the TVL was like at 350, 350,000, and it did not grow. Like, like I was in there for like six hours, and the the Polyfy token kept dipping and dipping. Um, so when I first got in around like 7 p.m., you know, pretty decent, not great, not bad. Like it's, it's doing okay. It's in like 50 to 60 cents. And when I slept, like when I slept, it was at 30 cents. And I'm like, oh my God, like another farm that I'm not going to make my deposit feedback. Ah, oh, this, this sucks. But when I woke up this morning, I had like 500 Polyfy worth 80 cents. I'm like, holy shit, I just have 400 bucks sitting in my, uh, sitting in my farm. And what I didn't know was a Polyfy got listed on VFAT tools. And this is a website that a lot of people use to like track new farms and whatnot. But I was able to front run people uh, that use VFAT because 
uh, I use this Google sheet called Rogue Doctor, where it's like a group of people that audit farms to make sure that you know it can't get rugged. So for example, like Puma Swap, oh, okay, yeah, like this thing rugged. And <laughs> an hour ago, uh, the Rogue Doctor said like, this is a rug warning, like get out as early as possible. And I guess they, they just rugged. Um, but Polyfy, they, uh, it, Polyfy was listed here before um, being listed on BFAT. And they said, Goose Clone seems fine. Always like check the transactions and whatnot. I'm like, okay, like Polycake is a complete shit show. I'm just going to put it on the Polyfy. And I did that. And as the, during the date of recording, during the time of recording, the Polyfy coin is like 128, which is a lot better than the 30 cents uh, when I slept that. So, you know, always doing research. Um, not all farms work. I'm just highlighting this one because it worked out for me. But I also wanted to highlight a few ones that did not work for me, like Polycake uh, did not make my deposit fee back. Polycat, I did not make my deposit fee back. Uh, in hindsight, if I stayed in Polycat, I would have made my deposit fee back. But uh, when I got in first, like when I when I got in at first, like it did not seem that great. So you know, I'm just farming, right? So uh, let's let's take a step back. I have my assets here, right? Um, I have 17k USDC and some Bitcoin, some Matic that I'm accumulating, that I'm hyper compounding, depositing to Ave, and I'm borrowing against it, being paid to do so. And and with my borrowed funds, I'm putting it into farms like Polyfy, where, you know, the TVL keeps growing, the Polyfy, you know, keeps going up. And, you know, as long as I make my deposit fee back, like I'm just laughing with the developers. Uh, and if you, if you want to know like how to play these farms, like I re really, really recommend you watch this video, finding save farms early, uh, save farms early to ape into where I'm just going to be utilizing the rock doctor Google, Google, Google sheets, as well as VFAT to, um, really see like if it's safe and if I'm early. The best thing is if something gets listed on Rug Doctor and it's not listed on VFAT, that's the best because once it gets listed, then like this is when like all the money flows into. Cause like this was depressing. Like to be honest, like I was depressed because I was like, holy shit, like this is like the TVL was not growing. Like I got in at 350 and when I slept it was like at 300. I was like, oh my god, like I got rugged. <laughs> not 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 actually rugged, but you know, like I got psychologically rugged. But it worked. Um, so yeah, so with with the Matic ecosystem, I'm earning Matic, right? Just from borrowing and lending. And I'm buying more Matic through these worthless farm tokens using QuickSwap. And you know, if you wanna take less risk, that's fine. Um, there's, if you deposit on Curve, you can earn 7.5% on your dollars and also earn 30% in Matic, right? And if you take a macro view in the crypto markets, like I get it, right? Like ETH is pumping, Bitcoin is doing well, Matic is pumping, and it seems like you know nothing can go wrong. But let's 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 think logically here, right? Like Bitcoin at fifty seven k, ETH at almost four k. Like how much multiples are left, right? Uh, in Bitcoin and ETH, maybe two to three x, maybe, right? There's no way to know. Like I'm mac I'm super bullish Bitcoin long term. I think it can hit a million. I'm super bullish ETH. I think it could flip Bitcoin, but. As of now, in 2021, it's still too early. The crypto system, the crypto ecosystem is still too early. I think it's, it'll, it'll take a lot more time, maybe 10 years for that to happen. And if you think about it, if you're buying ETH now at 4K, you're taking on like crazy amount of risk. But, and I get the argument that like fiat is worthless and like we don't want fucking toilet paper, right? Like the fiat is totally turning into toilet paper. But using Matic, you can earn like 37% on your dollars, right? Using Curve. Or if you want to be more risky, you can earn a, f a lot more borrowing and lending on Aave and using those borrowed funds to farm. Because my initial capital, when you were watching my video, was 17K. And you know, I, I made 4K off of QuickSwap and I'm accumulating Matic. But you know, this is my initial capital. But the thing is, like, I can use my initial capital, lend it out, earn a yield, and borrow against it and also earn a yield. So it's not like I have, so I have like 25K here and 16K here. It's, it's not that I have $41,000 to play with. No, I have $25,000 to play with, but I can borrow $16,000 against it and be paid to do so. And what you want to do with this, the borrowed funds is up to you. You can take Tether and put it into Curve, right? To just all, like double, you can earn yield on Aave and then earn yield on Curve so you can make more money. Or if you want to take on less risk, you can just put it into Curve. Because you know, if you use Aave and Curve, you're taking on two smart contractors, right? Two protocol risks, and farms. It's even higher risk, right? Because, I mean, you you can get rugged, right? <laughs> if you get rugged, you lose all your money, and 
uh, that's I've, I haven't been rooked yet, but I know it'll happen at some point, right? If I'm if I keep farming, and you know that's the risk you take. You know, if, if you're in crypto, you, I mean, if you think about the the rewards, like you get paid for the risk you take, right? Like if you take higher risk, you can earn higher rewards. And if you use tools like the Rug Doctor, and if you're active on their Telegram, and you know if you use VFAT tools, maybe you can front run other people. Um, because I, I want to just hone, hone in on this point here, is that these farms, like not all farms will work. If you're early, you can make money, um, but you can't just be early. You have to be early and have people uh, later, right? You have, you have to have people after you put more money into it. Uh, so, you know, it doesn't matter what the TVL is. It just matters like the TVL that it's going to go to. Uh, so if you like the content, please like and subscribe. Um, let me know what you're, if you, let me know if you have any questions. I think the Matic ecosystem is going to continue to thrive uh, because of the ETH gas fees. Um, it's pricing retail out um, for people that missed out on Binance Smart Chain like myself. Uh, I'm like really going hard into Matic because I think this is where, you know, if there's going to be a DeFi summer like there was in 2020, I think it's going to be on Polygon. And with Curve, Aave, Sushi uh, coming on to Polygon, I think it le legitimizes the entire ecosystem. And like, look at like look at this, right? Like, during the time of the video, I'm farming a bunch of these tokens. Um, so always do your own research. None of this is financial advice, but earn a yield on your dollars. Like take 5%, 10% of your portfolio out and to put it into dollars and play with it in the Matic ecosystem, right? Like if crypto keeps pumping, like you don't have to be 100% tits long crypto, right? Just put 90% tits long crypto, 10% into Matic and just farm with stable coins. And you know, it'll de-risk your portfolio. And if you, if you, if you enjoy it, maybe you can put 20% of your cash into 20% uh, of your portfolio into cash and farm with stable coins. And maybe you can increase that amount over time to do your risk because I mean, the crypto markets, they've been great. I mean, I've been in this since like 2020 and it's been amazing, but the higher it goes, the more risk it is. The, the higher it goes, the more risk there will be. And if you can, you know, farm with stable coins, you know, I'll, I'll just do an example. Like, all right, like I don't want Polyfy tokens. I want more Matic. So I'm just gonna buy more Matic. I'm gonna put my Matic into Aave to hyper compound. And over time, I'll get 10,000 Matic. And after I reach 10,000 Matic, I can use these farms to accumulate Bitcoin, accumulate ETH, accumulate maybe more dollars and accumulate more, you know, safer assets that I can feel comfortable holding onto. And you're being paid to do so. That's the power of it. You're being paid to do so. So, you know, I'm just going to buy some Matic. Never stay loyal to a farm because all farms go to zero over time. Just farm and dump, farm and dump. And over time, you know, you'll, you'll do well. Um, thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, leave a comment in the comment section below. If you like, uh, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. And yeah, have a nice day and good luck farming. <laughs>